Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Harmon and I'm your local professional real estate agent in Kansas City. Today is going to be a little bit different, more off script video. I'm going to be doing this for anyone curious about how starting real estate is, or if they've been thinking about it, or if they're starting real estate as well, kind of, you know, letting them know that maybe some of their struggles they haven't been going through alone. There's other people that have experienced it, or also if they've been seeing success, if that's normal, if it's expected to continue or whatever the case may be. So this is going to be my first couple months review of being a licensed real estate agent in Missouri. So I'm going to be talking about um, what I've experienced <clears throat> the first couple months being licensed as a real estate agent in Kansas City, kind of maybe what my struggles have been. I've been going, I will go over pros and cons, what I like about it, maybe what I don't like about it as much, um, what I recommend it, what type of people I'd recommend it to, and just use this as um, kind of a, a tale, a guide for people to go through if they're thinking about starting it, if they're just interested at all at what the process is like or what it actually is. Um, to be like to be an agent. So I want to start this off <clears throat> by discussing why I started um, my real estate journey, why I decided to get into real estate, kind of what I did before that, how I got here and what I still currently do as well. So I'm still currently work as a project manager and automation specialist for a larger manufacturing company here in Kansas City. I've done electrical and automation work essentially my whole adult career and it's um, what I've made my career around. So you might, you might be wondering, well, why are you doing real estate? What, what, what was the motivation to get into real estate agency or just the space in general? And the honest answer to that is, is I've been um, looking for something to build and call my own for a very long time. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Uh, I've always fantasized about having a business of my own or starting something that I can build and pass down more tangibility that I can really wrap my hands around and say, this is mine. What I'm working towards is something that I can build for my family. So when I started researching real estate, I really started researching it for um, investment purposes, trying to think of, you know, whenever um, I put money aside here and there, what should I put it into? Oh, real estate, started looking into that. And then I found um, some classes on real estate agency, took those, and those led to me taking the courses to actually get my license. And one thing led to another. And in a matter of about two months, I completed everything I needed for my license, and I was I was ready to start. Just picked a brokerage, and I, and I went. So now I've been actively working as a real estate agent for a couple months now, roughly. And, and I'd like to say that a lot of the challenges that I've personally faced may not be pertain to most people as a lot of them stem from like my personal situation, schedule, stuff like that, and not necessarily real estate agency itself. So I just want to put that out there. So if you're just kind of passively watching this and you hear some things, know that some of these challenges might just be because of my crazy schedule and, and crazy brain and not because of what real estate agency is within itself. So pros, these are going to be things I like pros, freedom. Not the stuff you see online where they claim a two-hour work week, only sit on the beach, passive income. I hate that stuff. I, I literally hate hate that stuff. Um, but what freedom can actually take, take shape as. Um, now, obviously, I haven't achieved it yet. I've only been in it for a couple months. Um, but to me, what freedom means is you're able to work for yourself in a manner in which you can build something that you can pass down. So it doesn't mean not working. I mean, no matter what I do, I'm going to be working all the time because it's just what I do if I'm not hanging out with my kids. I work. So even though I haven't achieved the freedom yet, it becomes clearer and clearer each day on this path that I take um, what is required to do that and that it is a, a possible thing to achieve through real estate agency. The vision of building something that will outlast you, set up future businesses, grow you as a professional and a person, um, so many useful skills that you learn along the journey, because that's usually the most important part is the journey itself. And, you know, whether people have wondered if I'm crazy or not for trying anything outside of my, my good nine to five, um, the thought of being able to dictate a business that I have a direct stake in is what has been the most intriguing to me, to say the least. Another pro I'd have to say is the ability to meet so many other business owners and to learn from and potentially work with them. Everyone at some point of business ends up 
dipping their toes into real estate. And that doesn't necessarily mean an agency. It might mean an investing, might mean wholesaling, whatever the case may be. Most people in almost every business sector have a touch on real estate. So it just gives you an opportunity to meet so many businessmen and women that can make the difference or make give you an opportunity that you may need to get to the next level that you might have not had access to if you weren't in real estate yourself. What I want to say first off is there's always more work. I'm going to come at that as a con is because for me personally, my brain is geared for working and working all the time, which is great for starting a business. But when it comes to the world of real estate, there's so many different avenues to place that work focus on. I can't help but to question if the avenue I'm working on is better or worse than the other because you have so many different angles of lead generations. You have so many different types of real, real estate, residential, commercial. You have new construction, uh, uh, lead generation. You can focus on FISBOs. You can focus on expired, open up, whatever. There's so many different avenues to focus on that you know, sometimes it may be hard to feel like you're really getting grounded or making or covering distance in the beginning, just because of how much work there is out there that you can be doing. And also not to mention, depending on the time of the year and the status of the market. So like if you start in the winter and we're in a recession, kind of like, um, I'm sure this is sounding familiar to some people that started a few months ago in real estate, it can take multiple months to get your first deal. So no matter how much work you put in, it might take you a few months before you see any return on your effort. And that's just something you have to be prepared for. Now, it, you know, it's hard to categorize that as a straight con, but it is something that some people would be worried about whenever starting out. If they need money right away from starting a business, if they can't go straight from one thing to the next, you might have to go swing two or three jobs to get it up and going because those first months, depending on the things that we talked about, might be tough. And then the only other con for me so far has been the potential cost. So it's not a super cheap endeavor to start. Um, and if you're like me and you have all the, and you want to always have all the best tools for marketing content, you know, and you just want to have the best stuff available that comes with a little bit of an extra cost and it can add up quick. So obviously it's investing in your business. So it's not like you're just throwing money away. It has a tangible return on that investment, but I would definitely recommend saving up at least a couple thousand dollars before starting the licensing process, just so you're prepared for all the fees. Whenever you join a brokerage for getting set up, set up through MLS databases, stuff like that, getting equipment um, to either make content or getting uh money up front to send out flyers or however you decide to start doing lead generation and building your business, that's also going to cost money. So there's going to be money up front that you need to be prepared for. And like kind of ties back in, sometimes it may take a couple months to see any money coming back to you from that. So just something you have to be prepared for. It's not a, a no money or low money in there's, there's a little bit higher barrier to entry on cost. So overall, it's been a pretty interesting experience. Um, I've really enjoyed it because I just really enjoy business and I, and I really enjoy working on new things. Um, I'm excited to continue and work and grow. That's really, I'm, I'm just so anxious to, to grow it. Uh, I kind of see where I, where I stand starting and, and where I need to go. I'm just so excited to see where it all ends up. So if you're looking for a way to start a business and want to get in touch with a good local network of people that can teach you all sorts of things and that are in all sorts of different businesses and you want to challenge yourself, I, I would definitely recommend trying out real estate agency. Just be prepared to work as hard as you can and push through those first few weeks or months and you'll be off to the races. Um, you know, if you keep plugging away, things will happen and that's just how business works. I hope this was helpful for anyone who has been thinking about getting into real estate or is just getting started in real estate as well and has been wondering if anyone else has been going through these struggles or if they have been seeing the same things. I just wanted to let everyone out there know you're not alone on this journey. And uh, if you have any questions, if you're just getting started or if you're in the same phase and you just want to discuss some of these things over someone in the same position, DM me, comment down below. I'd love to hear it. As always, be safe, be smart. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.